self-regulated learning, monitoring of their own learning, is they're not used to doing it. So you have to Hello and welcome to the interview of the month. The Saudi Vision 2030 aimed at diversifying the kingdom's economy rather than solely relying on oil revenues was revealed in April this year, 2016. The ambitious plan has a special focus on small and medium-sized enterprises or the SMEs since they are among the most important agents of economic growth. They create jobs and support innovation. So more SMEs, more innovations mean that there is a growing need to get patents and file for intellectual property rights. Understanding the need of the hour, one of the drivers of Saudi economy, the Royal Commission have signed a contract with Oblan, the largest law firm in the United States. Focus mainly on patents, Oblan has a distinction of obtaining more U.S. utility patents than any other firm in the world. And today we have with us a senior patent lawyer from Oblan, Mr. Attorney uh, Jonathan Partham. John, welcome to Interview of the Month. Thank you. Thank you for having all me. All right. So, uh, first of all, uh, please tell us about the contract signed between Oblan and the Royal Commission at Yambu. What does it entail? Yeah. So, the, the contract we have with Yambu, uh, Yambu has, as you said, recognized the, the need and the, the understanding, the vision for having a patent program, uh, especially in line with the Vision 2030. So uh, what we're helping to do is we're working with inventors who are going to work with the, um, the RC here and provide some type of their research, some type of disclosures. We're going to take a look at the information and then we'll, we'll do some type of patentability analysis, identify the key features of the invention, and then uh, we'll work with the inventor to get it filed and get them a patent. All right. So uh, here in Saudi Arabia, we have the Saudi Patent Office at the King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology that grants protection documents for inventions, uh, new inventions in the country. So what will be your role in dealing with them? Yeah, so we actually have a really special relationship with CACS. Uh, we've met with uh, Mr. Sammy there many times, and uh, we've actually worked with them to develop a program, uh, kind of a program recognizing one of the things important, I think, in the kingdom is the uh, Global Innovation Index, and that is obtained uh, or increased through filings in the kingdom. So we've actually worked uh, with CACs to develop a program for filing patents specifically in the kingdom. And then we also have some coordination, uh, since we're across the street from the U.S. Patent Office, we have coordinations, uh, so we're going to do some training sessions there with them and then members of CACs as well. Right. The government is clearly focused on investing in non-oil sector so much so that it is uh, liberalizing Aramco, the crown jewel in the kingdom's empire of oil. This is going to create a mega fund for investment. So for the new businesses that are going to come up, how important will it be for them to file for uh, patent rights and intellectual property rights? Yeah, I think it's um, hugely important, uh, as it is in any country, to, if you're starting a business, you need to make sure that whatever invention you have is going to be protected so that no one else can steal it. Uh, that's one of the main factors. It also helps in terms of generating revenue and investment. Uh, investors feel really comfortable when they're looking into a company. They want to know that if I'm going to invest in this company, it's safe. There's a safe future here, and patents provide that safety. So according to the World Bank, currently the contribution of small and medium enterprises in the GDP of the country is somewhere around 20%, which is not too much. By 2030, the government wants to take this contribution to 35%. Now, this means that uh, new businesses will have to file for patents for their innovations and inventions. But the dilemma is that a startup does not have enough uh, financial resources. So how much do you think it is going to cost them to uh, file for patents and intellectual property rights and what benefits will entrepreneurs get if they file for patents through the Royal Commission? Uh, yeah, it's a tough question to answer. Um, patents vary. The cost varies based on technology area, uh, maybe certain objectives or goals you have for the patent. Um, but in the end, it's a concern for any startup company. But um, I think it's been realized that the, the cost uh, in the beginning is going to pay off in the end because of all the marketing ability you're going to have, the commercializing ability, and just the uh, letting v investors know that you've protected the invention and that it's a safe company to invest in. Um, and with the Royal Commission, uh, you know, graciously being involved in helping inventors, uh, helping cover some of the cost of the patenting, 
um, I think it's, it's really a win-win situation for everyone to drive and generate the small, medium enterprise growth for Vision 2030. So John, uh, the Saudi financial firms are going to be encouraged to allocate up to 20% of their overall lending to SMEs by 2030. And also the uh, Tadawal, the Saudi stock exchange has unveiled a plan where they are establishing an equity market to target SMEs uh, from the next year. So do you think these kind of uh, things and uh, rather SOPs are going to help the uh, new entrants, the startups to file for patents and intellectual property rights? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think um, it's going to provide a lot of stability in the market, which is something that any market really likes. Uh, patents will provide the stability in terms of providing some type of, um, you know, prediction uh, for investors to get a feel for, um, you know, what is covered. Do I feel safe that the in innovation is covered? Um, are we going to have opportunities here for cross licensing or working with other companies? Uh, so it really will provide, I think, a lot of stability and, and will help uh, with the goal of increasing small, medium enterprise uh, participation. And also the uh, Saudi economic plan aims to increase the participation of women in the national workforce, take it from the current level of 20% to 30% by 2030. This is going to be a big opportunity uh, or rather a big benefit for the small enterprises, for small businesses, because uh, the available talent is going to increase by several folds. So uh, in such a scenario, what do you think needs to be done at the national level to increase the awareness about filing for patents and getting intellectual property rights? Um, probably, uh, at least what I've seen going on in the Kingdom so far, and especially here uh, at the Royal Commission, is uh, having some type of awareness workshops. Uh, you know, we've come and visited, talked about the, uh, the patenting process, um, you know, faculty here involved in spreading awareness. Um, there's also been certain types of, um, you know, booklets or informational material that's been set up and maybe just part of the overall uh, educational curriculum uh, with an indication of the importance of innovation and part of the new 2030 goals to provide that awareness. So what uh, have you gauged from the kind of environment we have for filing for patents? So do you think uh, as the economy is transforming from the oil base to knowledge base and diversifying into other non-oil sectors, do you see an environment? We have been here for more than a year now. I mean, uh, the contract was signed last year. So what kind of uh, feeling do you ha uh, have you got from uh, spending time here in the Saudi Arabia? Um, Good. I think everyone's really excited. Uh, mm -hmm. We've, you know, been all over the country, uh, you know, in, in Dammam and Riyadh and here in uh, Yambu and Jeddah. Mm -hmm. And everywhere we go, there's really just a, a general sense of excitement. Uh, I think people are really uh, interested in, in um, you know, getting involved, uh, developing some of the research they've been doing, and actually understanding that, you know, uh, I've been doing a lot of work on this research, and then there's a, an end goal for, um, you know, uh, something that can be a win for the inventor uh, in terms of getting a patent, start, having startup companies, uh, generating jobs, uh, and it's also good for society as a whole to, uh, to benefit from these inventions. So um, I think it's, it's really a lot of excitement countrywide. Great, so we are treading the right path perhaps. I think so, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Jonathan. Thank Parton. you for having Thank me, so I appreciate it. Great. It is a challenge. One of the challenges uh, that whole notion of self-regulated learning, monitoring of their own learning, is they're not used to doing it. So you have to have